the Chamber of Commerce is a local organization whose goal is to further the interests of businesses and citizens in our community. Let's meet some of our Chamber Directors. The Loveland Chamber of Commerce, their role in the community here in Loveland is uh, really to be that leader for business, that leading business organization. What we do is we help businesses uh, make strategic connections. Uh, that could be for business partners as well as clients, uh, get visibility so they have uh, a way to heighten their brand awareness and uh, provide education. Uh, that's a chance so they can get out, get the nuts and bolts of operating a business as well as uh, information so they can make good strategic plans. And another thing that uh, people probably don't realize we do. We work with a lot of public policy issues uh, that could be impacting business. It could be something as simple as uh, a sign issue, uh, maybe code that the city has put up that uh, uh, may cause limitations on how a business can market uh, in the in the community, or it could be working on things that are more complex like tax and, and various different regulation on a local and state level. But I think one thing that really uh, the chamber takes a lot of pride in is our Valentine's program. And that's something very unique. Loveland is known as the sweetheart city, and uh, it certainly gives us a lot of recognition. You know, the chamber is uh, an outstanding uh, organization representing business, but we certainly do a lot for the folks in our community too, you know, those people that are residents of Loveland and may not be operating in business. Um, certainly we have an impact on, uh, on workforce, but more directly, we also have uh, the Loveland Visitor Center. We have the only visitor center in town here in Loveland, and uh, we've got some great merchandise that people can take uh, pride in so they can show their, their love and affection for the Sweetheart City, um, some great sweatshirts and different things. But more importantly, uh, we really become a kind of a central focus point uh, for promoting everything that Loveland has to offer, the great community with the wonderful people that are uh, very supportive, as well as all the different businesses and uh, entertainment and hospitality uh, pieces of the industry that welcome the visitors to town. You know, uh, we love to see people come out and help support the Chamber. We've got a lot of great investors uh, with the Chamber of Commerce, but it's not just those people that uh, actually join and pay a membership. We uh, have our Valentine's uh, program, which I mentioned previously. Fifty-some uh, seniors as well as uh, some youth come out and help uh, during the first two weeks of February to help stamp all the different uh, cards that are going through the remailing program. We also host one of the, the long-standing legacy events and uh, bigger events here in the community called the Corn Roast Festival. And believe it or not, that takes anywhere from 100 to 150 volunteers. Pick up one of those uh, Sweetheart City t-shirts or, or hoodie sweatshirts so you can show your love for uh, the Sweetheart City Loveland, Colorado. Well, the Fort Collins Chamber has been here for over 100 years, and basically it's a business organization that came together to represent this community. So our job is to focus on the business interests, the long-term economic interests in this community. To build the, the economy of this community and focus on quality of life, we do a variety of things. Some of them are direct services we provide to members, so they'd be networking events, advertising opportunities. Where we have a strength, though, is we focus on advocacy. So we look at this community and we ask ourselves, what are our strengths, what are our weaknesses, and is there anything that we need to do to focus on making it stronger and making a stronger economy? And so we do that in a variety of ways. We lobby local government, we lobby state government, uh, we focus on candidates. So we, we actually find people that uh, understand the economy and are willing to make it a stronger place for jobs and job creation. The services we pro provide to business, uh, many of them are in the networking area, so when you think about the Chamber of Commerce, you want to work with companies that you know and trust. So one of the ways we do that are put people together so they build relationships through networking activities, through a variety of events that we do. And what that does is build that relationship, it builds trust, and in the process of doing that, they build their business. So we have networking activities, business before hours, business after hours, speed networking, a variety of leads groups. Another thing we do, and it's, it's less obvious, it's a little more subtle, but is leadership development. We have a young professionals group called Envision. We have Leadership Fort Collins, Leadership Northern Colorado. All of those have the intent of, of basically building the fabric of this community and making it a good place to, to do business. The Fort Collins Chamber is a place that business people can have an impact on their community. And so there's this enlightened self-interest. Certainly they're here to build their business, but another way they can build their business is to make sure this community they operate in is a very strong community. You know, it's a pleasure to talk to you today about the Greeley Chamber of Commerce. We've got so much going on in Greeley. Greeley 
Chamber is really about making business connections and helping businesses work with each other. You know, just one um, thing about the Greeley Chamber, we were started in 1919. So that tells you we've been here, we're here for our business community. We're a chamber of about 750 members. The Greeley Chamber in partnership with the Loveland Chamber and the Fort Collins Chamber Actually, we have a regional leadership program, and that's where we're looking at kind of emerging regional leadership, because we all don't want to operate in pockets in our own communities. We have to look at regional issues that are so important, transportation, water. So this was a great opportunity for the chambers to come together on behalf of developing leaders. So when we're not doing all of that, we're of course promoting our community and asking people to support their local businesses and to help each other out. This is tough economic times. Businesses are operating on such a fine, thin margin that if we can keep our local folks employed and our local industries going, so much the better for all of us. Do we have some room to grow? Absolutely, and we would invite anyone to visit with the Greeley Chamber, find out how you can make new business connections, find out what we're doing with our advocacy efforts because there's so much that we're involved with with the state and local government but if you don't know that come visit the Greeley Chamber. The Berthet Area Chamber of Commerce offers a lot of opportunities for our business members. Uh, first of all we do a lot of networking we do that through a series of uh, workshops, uh, luncheons. We do uh, some networking opportunities as far as business after hours go. It's all in an effort to get businesses to do business with other businesses. As you can see behind me there's a beautiful mural that has become synonymous with the town of Berthet. It kind of shows Berthet in its uh, agricultural days with a beautiful backdrop of Long's Peak and uh, Meeker in the background. 